So today, we are going to take a look at this array right here that we put together. These are used 270 to 315 watt uh, mono panels that we bought. They were like 22 bucks a piece. So we're gonna take and use our watt meter and see what kind of output we're getting at 10.30 in the morning in the end of July. So I'm gonna try and use this tripod to uh, see if I can uh, do this since uh, it's really hard to hold the camera and um, connect these as well. <clears throat> See if I can set this up. Okay. So this first one is a Jinko and it is 315 watts. So let's see what we get with our meter. Plug it in there. Plug this one in. And we have it lit up, starting to work. Let's see if we go our manual. We are getting 242 watts and 25.41 volts. And our amps are 9.53. Our VOC is 33.35. So that's a pretty good panel. For $22, we're getting 240 watts. I'm hoping you can see that. So, apologize if it's not on screen on some of these, but it's kind of a tight area, really tough to do. So, we're going to disconnect this one. There we go. And we're going to move it down the line really tight <laughs> all right so this one is a 290 watt Jinko same thing just a little bit less all right plug that in plug this in and let's see it's firing up let's press our manual to backlit might help that's 216 watts out of a 290 watt panel not too bad so and it is 10 30 in the morning so it's not really full direct but we're getting 8.83 amps so out of that these two right here it's almost 18 amps that we're getting and we're getting pretty close to 450 um 450 475 watts out of two used panels for like 22 bucks so let's go ahead and move it down the line and disconnect this some of these mc4 connectors are not the easiest ones to disconnect i'm gonna have to probably go get a Oh, there we go. All right. So, <clears throat> moving down the line, we have a another Jinko 290 watt. So, <clears throat> let's connect this up. And this one we're going to try and not go in all the way see it'll still work okay didn't have to put it in all the way so it'll be easier to get off so press this 217 watts 9.23 amps and the voltage is 32.83 the vmp is 23.58 so that's respectable out of a 290 watt panel getting 217 of a used panel for 18 bucks I'll take that any day of the week. 
So, and that's at 10.30 in the morning, like I said. So, we're gonna take and put all these in series. So we're trying to make sure that first of all, they are all working. And this one is a son of a, and it is a, a 270 watt panel. So 270 watts, son of a, S-U-N-I-V-A, used panel. Let's see on here, go backlit. Getting only 116 volts out of the, or 116 watts out of this. Um, VMP is 14.68. VOC is 2105, but we're getting 7.94 volt amps. So the amps, it's pretty good on this. Um, as far as charging amps, the watts are a little low, but uh, the amps are up there close to eight. So we'll see how that does when we put them all in series. And we got two more to go here. All right, another Jinko 290. So we got a Jinko 290 here, used, oops. And I got some funky things on here that make it hard to get it off, so. We're going to take and see, let's do that. Okay, so we're getting 191 off this, this uh, 290 watt. And it's uh, VMP is 24.22. Once again, the amps are 7.9, they're almost eight amps. And the VLC is 32.79. So, you know, for a $22 panel, I'm not gonna really complain too much. But we'll see what we get when we put them all together and we add that to the, uh, we're going to actually add that to a, in parallel with a string of poly panels and see how those do with poly on one side and parallel and the monos on the other. Okay, here we go. Got this, light it up hit the manual, and we're 186.1 watts, 24.89, 7.48 on the amps, and the VOC is 32.24. So, once again, not too bad. We're averaging probably around 200, because we were over 200 in the first three. So we're averaging around 200, so that's around 1200 watts of input that we will be able to get for $132. So we got all those right there. And like I said, we'll connect those up and we will run those over to the 12 that are up here. I mean, sorry eight up here we have eight in series another eight in the background series but those are in the shade so they're not even doing anything because they're poly panels so that's how we used the meter here hopefully it came out i'll go and review the video and like i said those were used poly panels or uh, poly used mono panels that I bought a couple of weeks ago. And I bought them at the same place, Santan Solar. I'll put the link in the description. I bought all those. Those were 30 bucks for 330 watt mono. And I'm getting, for 16 of those, I'm getting that 3000 watt output on that EG4 3000 watt inverter. So I'm hoping to get close to 2.5 kilowatts with these six panels and the eight panels over here. So we'll take a look and we'll see um, after we wire that up. We'll do that in another video, but I just wanted to show you on this Elajoy that it was using it to check my panels to see if they were good. And um, I think the lowest one we had was that third panel right there. And it's a little different 
than the other ones. And, uh, you know, it just, it's not the, not the same. The other ones are all pretty similar. Uh, but we were higher uh, watts on this end than we were down on that end. So these were giving us much better performance. So I'll take a look and we'll see what the uh, percentage was on those versus what the output um, said it would give us. So we are an affiliate with uh, Santan Solar. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and see you in the next video.